authority. So without further ado, let's start by saying the Pledge of Allegiance in a moment of silence, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. All right, first on the list, item B, consent items, <coughs> minutes of the February 19th public hearings and regular board meeting. <coughs> Are there any additions, subtractions, <coughs> corrections to that document? And unless there's an objection, I will just go through all the consent items and do them as once. Is there any objection to that? Certification of February 19th, 2018 executive session. Are there any additions, deletions, corrections to that document? Certification of the March 9th, 2018 executive session minutes. Are there any additions, deletions, or corrections to that document? And minutes of the March 9th, 2018 study session. Are there any additions, deletions, or corrections to that document? In that case, is there a motion to consent? Or, I'm sorry, to is there a motion to approve cons B subsection B consent items? So moved. Motion made by Jenny. Second. Second by Steve. All in favor of approving the consent items, please signify by raising your right hand. Motion carries seven to zero. Uh, financial report. So item uh, number one is approval of claims number 12,997 through 13,125, totaling $961,498.64. Uh, payrolls to report are of the March 2nd payroll of $401,026.24. The stop after the funds report, um, so the resolution can be handled separately. But the funds report um, consists, consisted of a general fund that started at $589,566.54. We had $991,267.94 worth of receipts. Expenses for the month were $972,625.64. Leaving us an ending balance of six hundred and eight thousand two hundred and eight dollars and eighty four cents. We started debt service fund with two million two hundred and four thousand seven hundred and nine dollars and ninety one cents. We had eight thousand forty nine dollars and ninety cents worth of receipts. It's no expenses for the month, so our ending balance was two million two hundred and twelve thousand seven hundred and fifty nine dollars and eighty one cents. We are up year over year um, when it comes to the debt service fund right now, but um, we will be um, down where um, our ending balance uh, for 2017 is proposed to be lower um, when it comes to um, debt service payments um, and levies that come out. So while it looks like we have more in debt service right now, it'll even out towards the end of the year. Capital projects fund. Started with $867,897.83. We had receipts in the amount of $70,347.26. Expenses for the month were $91,479.85, leaving us an ending balance of $846,765.24. And capital projects are receipts. Um, a lot of it came from the Duke Energy rebate credits that we were able to capture thanks to the LED project. It's a great opportunity. Uh, transportation fund, we started with $1,022,161.80. We had $2,598.97 worth of receipts. Expenses for the month were $87,569.49, leaving us an ending balance of $937,191.28 for transportation fund. Last but not least is bus replacement fund. We started with $141,653.45. 
We had receipts in the amount of $664.54, no expenses for the month, and an ending balance of $142,317.99. If I may, I just want to share again a special thank you to Dick Belcher. When we um, presented at the Kiwanis last, I think it was last week, not only did um, the Belcher family make the donation and enable us, we were able to save money a couple of different ways and capture the Duke energy, but he made it a special point to make sure that the project rolled out okay, that, that there wasn't any more he could do to help solidify that project. So again, he's continuing to follow that and just really <coughs> diligent about making sure he didn't want it to cause any more work, any more concern for us. He just wanted it to go smoothly and it has. So it's another special thank you to him. About the, on the Duke Energy rebates, is is that the full amount then now for the LED project? Um, or is there still more to come through? Um, there's still more to come through. Um, in the balance that's coming through um, is, uh, is to be applied towards the donation fund. Okay. So not all of the expenses have come out of couple projects. Um, couple projects is just offset, um, but but there is a little bit more of a balance, and the project has got to wrap up. So once that does, then that will um, be applied to the donation fund. And will we have some incentives that we'll be able to earn with the HVAC for the renewal? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's an ongoing um, Viridian. Um, um, our, our connection with Viridian is, is really healthy in that they are always looking out and, and uh, keeping those conversations open with uh, Duke Energy when it comes to um, capturing the most that we can that's available out there. And then um, a question on the general fund. You had mm -hmm. made special note about the special education ADM decreased. And that we're just, we're in the one count date per year we are. No, um, so. There are still a lot of counts that go on, even though we have one count. So while our um, our basic grant core count is in September, and the February count doesn't affect our funding, there are still other counts that um, affect our funding. The special ed count happens December second of each year. So um, and that's also a one count. So while um, our basic grant count is in September. Our special ed count is in December. Um, this should be the, the last of the count changes that affect our funding, um, but again, something absolutely to take note of. Thank you. Any other questions for Val? Is there any objection to under subsection C to combining <coughs> one, two, and three for a vote? Any board member have an objection to that? In that case, under subsection C, numbers one, two, and three, approval of claims, payrolls, and fund report. Is there a motion to approve those as given? So moved. Motion made by Steve. Second. Second by Tom. All in favor of approving financial report one through three, please signify by raising your hand. Motion carries seven to zero. <coughs> On number four, underneath there is the resolution for investment of the bond proceeds, similar to what we did last year. Val, is that around what? About around fifty thousand dollars we made off that. Um, it, it's still ticking, so still we ticking. still have proceeds um, that we have invested with Lake City. Um, we're down to just over half a million dollars. It's about six hundred and fifty-three thousand um, that remain in bond proceeds with Lake City. So we are still continually to capture um, investment proceeds to to help the project move forward. And that's what this resolution is for. Yes. For the future bond. Yep. Exactly for the two thousand eighteen. That is resolution 2018-1. It's on our website. I believe Mr. Kissler has it up on the board if anybody would like to review it. Basically trying to get the most bang for our buck in interest proceeds from our bond rates. I have a question. Sure. Um, and I should have written down the <coughs> resolution number from last meeting because I know we approved <coughs> many. But in one of them, there it talked about investing the funds and that the um, if I read it correctly, that the funds, the earnings from those funds stay in the construction fund. Mm -hmm. I'm going to defer to Val on that. Exactly. The financial. Yes. Okay, yes. so that and yes. that's how we proceeded yes. last time as well. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yes, we have earnings from our normal operating. We have about five different, five to six different um, accounts that get to get that I get to uh, reconcile and um, and thanks to Julie's help as well as um, it's handled very delicately um, when it comes to funds versus um, um, accounts, but not to get too much into the weeds. We have um, 
like for instance, we earn um, money when it comes to general fund and CPF and transportation, um, and we have a resolution that says, um, that since that consists of our operating account, that those funds go into the general fund. So um, we do keep like with like, and, and especially okay. when it comes to construction funds, we gotcha. have its own fund, and then it gets applied in its own account. Okay, thank you. You have a question for Val on that? And I guess we're going to do another request for proposal just to make sure we're getting exactly. the best bank for our buck and the best service we can get. Exactly. Absolutely. So, in that case, is there a motion? Is there any other questions or comments about resolution 2018-1? In that case, is there a motion to approve that resolution? So moved. Motion made by Sandy. Second. Um, Second by Stacy. All in favor of approving the resolution for the investment of bond proceeds, please signify by raising your right hand. Motion carries 7 0. <coughs> Donations. Um, anonymous then donated candy for the RMS Zebra Store. Fulton County Solid Waste, $150 for FFA. Gone Ag and Core Solutions, $150 for FFA. And the Knights of Columbus, a $500 gift certificate to Columbia to purchase 20 to 25 pairs of shoes for students who are in need from Shoe Show. The donation is planned for the beginning of April. Any additions to that? Not that I know, but I always look at candy, candy. because she's so good at keeping track of those and make sure she's very diligent and good about that. In that case, it, and it probably, I know it's redundant, but I never want to miss it. I know we as a board never want to miss a chance to say thank you to the public for the donations that they give us. They are certainly appreciated, I know. A lot of those things help the kids in our corporation, so thank you. Is there a motion to approve the donations as read? So, motion made by Steve. Second. Second by Jenny. All in favor of approving the donations as given, please signify by raising your hand. Motion carries 7 0. Overnight field trip. The Jag field trip? This is a Jag field trip. We're looking at taking two students down to the state uh, Jag career development program. They are both juniors. It helps with career development, leadership, career awareness, those types of skills. It's um, uh, led by the overall the state JAG program. Uh, Brenda, Yo Brenda Yoakum, who uh, used to do our in-house program, he <coughs> will be one of the supervisors down there helping with Rochester's students. But it's something that we have attended before, and it's been very beneficial for those juniors that get to attend and look at career and development. But it is an overnight stay in Indianapolis for two students. We've done that in the past, too. We correct? have. We have. It's it's a great great program. Program. Any questions or comments for Jana on that? In that case, is there a motion to approve the overnight field trip? Second. Motion made by Stacy. Second. Second by Tom. All in favor of approving the overnight field trip, please signify by raising your right hand. Motion carries 7 0. Information and analysis, third reading of the policy change in high school PE issuance. Okay, last month we did the first and second reading combined for our uh, change in how students may earn a high school PE credit. <coughs> this change would allow students to earn a credit if they do the same sport multiple years and have met the qualifications um, deemed acceptable by their coach in the school. Is there any questions? Then we'll move on to that. Any questions for Jenny? I know Steve, you and Tom are out. Are there any questions for Jenny on that? Is there a motion to for the to approve the third reading of the policy change in high school PD issuance? So motion made by Sandy. Second. Second by Stacy. All in favor of approving the third reading of the policy change in high school PE issuance, please signify by raising your right hand. Motion carries 7 0. See, approval and sale slash destruction of surplus items. There's an updated list there for you. I think um, Oscar in the middle school came in right under the gun for some of those three L shaped tables before they went, but that's why we continue to communicate and, and let the principals know and building levels know and make sure that these are things we don't anticipate using. So you will see. Again, a list of items that are surplus or things that we feel need to be recycled or taken uh, to, to the scrap yard. And I just want to again thank um, Greg Carter and his crew and Scott uh, for posting these and Val for continuing to keep track. And it's not a lot of money that's coming in, but I think that we're doing the best we can with due diligence and, and being responsible for those funds that are coming in. 
Any further questions of Jan on the surplus items? In that case, is there a motion to approve the sale or destruction of surplus items? So moved. Motion made by Jenny. Second that. Second by Steve. All in favor of approving the sale or destruction of surplus items, please signify by raising your hand. Motion carries 7-0. These tables are yours, Oscar. <laughs> I'm not helping you move them, Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is personally or in the school? In the school. In the school. <laughs> in the school. <laughs> Absolutely in the school. Last month, there, we're next on the agenda is the Peterson Wagner Perkins Conference reimbursement. Last uh, meeting, we approved a motion to, 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 for the reimbursement from them. However, the document was in the air, I believe. So, in that case, in order to properly do this proper parliamentarian wise, uh, all that were here last time who voted for the issue, if you want to reconsider that item six from the February 19th agenda, one of you would have to uh, make a motion to reconsider. Then we would vote on that, and then we would uh, discuss what we would, would consider for the credit, which I think PWP has made a document for us for $496.95 to deal with meals and mileage. And that was a communication with their office today that confirms that we're back and forth. Very clear that yeah. it's something exactly. incorrect. So we just need to One of the board members that was here last time that voted for it, and we all did. Can make a motion to reconsider it and then we can discuss what our credit would be if it were something other okay, so the motion by you is to reconsider the uh, item six from the financial report from pwp under the february 19th 2018 agenda. Okay. motion made by sandy is there a second no second second by jenny all in favor of reconsidering item six the financial report under the february 19th 2018 agenda please signify by raising your hand Motion carries seven zero. Now the next step would be, of course, my iPad goes off when we do that. Is uh, we should what what should be considered for the credit? PWP has uh, an updated credit document. Peter Swain for four hundred and ninety six dollars ninety five cents. So is there a motion to either approve that credit or a different one? Motion by Sandy approve the credit for four hundred ninety six dollars ninety five cents. Is there a second? Second that. Second by Steve. All in favor of approving the updated credit document for $496.95, please signify by raising your right hand. Motion carries 7 0. Excuse me, I have to reset my thing here. Um, Peter Swagger and Perkins contract. I need to apologize. Ted and Rachel got that to me in plenty of time. I think it was last Tuesday or Wednesday. I think it was maybe Wednesday. And then we had some things that have happened across the district and it just got posted this morning. So I apologize for the position that we put everybody in. I think maybe Julie was in and out last week, I was in and out, and it's not an excuse, it's just an explanation, and, and I apologize. On that note, I know I wanted to read, it was put on there at 9 o'clock this morning, I'd like to have more time to review it as well, not that I sure. but in order to be fiscally responsible and for the district. So, do we need a motion to table that, or can I just say the motion or it's tabled until the next meeting? Uh, you can table it without objection. If anybody objects, then you have to vote. Okay. Is there any objection to tabling the contract until the next uh, Monday board meeting in April? Any objections to tabling it? I, I don't have an objection, but I have a question. Is this a good time to ask a question? <laughs> I would let's review the contract. You want me to maybe we can talk. It's, it's not really about the essence of the contract. It's oh, okay. that would if we table it till April, does that mean that it does this go retroactively till January or does it start once we approve it, whether that be now or April? It's for 2018. So, okay, so then it does not. Is there any objection to tabling it then? I'm looking at everybody just to make sure we have a head shake or not. <coughs> no objections to tabling it. Okay. We'll consider that table until the next day before me. <laughs> Request to reduce billing fees owed by Friends of the Fulton County Library. We had the Fulton, Friends of the Fulton County Library put together a variety show um, to benefit the theater, the, the um, downtown theater. And what happens is we have an, an estimate sheet and then a final billing sheet. And as we went through that, uh, the final billing was for $1,124.
Maria Kelsey did contact me wanting to see if that could be reduced and so as we went through and we discussed specific auditorium hour usage and making sure that we covered all of our employees time because the whole point of this is not to lose money but also in groups like this not to make uh, money when we're trying to do a service for the community the auditorium hours that they originally listed were those that they anticipated using but were able to cut that back a bit so after having a conversation with her um, this morning and going back through the bill, I would propose that rather than the $1,124 that was orig originally charged based on the original um, request, that we charge the $814, which would be more indicative of what they did with the auditorium usage and the employees that, that benefited from that. So that would question for you that covers our expenses but it still does. allows it us to be good does. community members and help where we can too. and they were very very pleased with that and felt like we were within that time range and our range and cost range that they had anticipated any other questions for Jane on that in that case is there a motion to reduce i'm sorry is there a motion to approve the request to reduce billing fees owed by friends of the fulton county public library or fulton county library so moved motion made by jenny Second. Second by Tom. All in favor of approving the request for reduce the billing, please signify by raising your right hand. Motion carries 7 to 0. Uh, approval to schedule Wednesday choir concert in 2018. I there's two dates we there, there are two dates. Lisa McMillan, bless her heart, she's doing double duty. And, and then Simon uh, had the opportunity to reach out, communicate with her today. As we are building um, next year's both the athletic as well as the fine arts calendar. Uh, Greg and Lisa came across two dates that we just weren't able to, to fit in. So they are asking for Wednesday, September 26th, I'm sorry, Wednesday, September 26th to schedule the RMS band concert. And then on Wednesday, December 12th to schedule the RMS choir concert. And by allowing those two Wednesday dates, we should be able to get all of the athletic events and athletic events scheduled for next year without having to teach you the athletic twice because I know fine arts are especially oh, I'm sorry. Jenny I'm and I'll sorry. make sure we get that. <laughs> sorry. I apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry. 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 i am sorry i Second by Stacy. All in favor of approving the schedule Wednesday choir concert, signify by raising your hand. Motion carries 7 to 0. Personnel report. Yes. And there's a revised 2. I have to be um, Lucas taken out so we can vote on the rest. Okay. Mm -hmm. Julia, was it revised 2? I know we had the last one come in the south. Yes. Yes. Thank you. That should be the last one right there, right? Exactly. Okay. So I'll read through these and then. Since you've asked to be recused from Lucas's, we'll separate that one out. Hirings, Richard Duckett, part-time substitute night custodian in the Learning Center. Myra Dunphy, the Riddle Special Education Instructional Assistant. Tim Kennedy, the Riddle Custodian. Retirement, Wynn Wilson, Riddle Title I teacher in May of 2018. Maternity leave, Jessica Melton, tentatively the first semester of the 2018-2019 school year. Family medical leave, Bob Rovner, Columbia Kindergarten, January 15th for four to five months. Resignations, Martha Artist, Riddle Custodian, and then I'll leave Lucas out specifically. Uh, out. Resignation, Allison Butler for RHS Cheer Co-Coach, and Tanya McKee, the RMS Cheer Coach, effective immediately. Uh, RHS Extracurricular Hiring, Taylor Shally, Assistant Tri-Epsilon Club Director for the remainder of the 2018 school year, Spring Intercession, Deb Wolford for RHS Math, Felix Amandi for RHS English, Summer I read May 29th through June 8th, Megan Rigney in Mona Zion. Athletic coaching recommendations, Kathy Watson, seventh and eighth grade girls basketball assistant coach for the remainder of the year, and that was effective February 20th. Athletic resignation, Erin Cashin, head volleyball coach, effective March 16th. More resignations, Gabby Hoffman, middle special needs instructional assistant. Jim Swank, director of maintenance. Termination, Ashley Beck, middle school nurse. Effective March 18, 2018. Spring Enrichment, Sally Dunworthy will be the organizer. For Spring Intercession, Lori Atkinson at RMS, Ken Hughes at RMS, 
and Joanna Tewalt at RMS as an instructional assistant. And then hiring, Judy Coffing is the RMS nurse to complete RMS nurse to complete the remainder of the school year. Any questions on that list? In that case, is there a motion to approve the personnel list with the exception of Lucas Shingles? So moved. Motion made by Steve. Second. Second by Sandy. All in favor of approving the personnel list with the exception of Lucas Shingles, please signify by raising your right hand. Motion carries 7 0. Uh, and then to touch base, Stacy's asked to recuse herself. So, resignation Lucas Shingles is the RHS cheer coach, effective immediately, 13 years. Any questions for Jane on that one? Is that the case? Is there a motion to approve the resignation of Lucas Shane Holtz, RHS cheer coach? So moved. Motion made by Tom. Is there a second? Rick does. Rick's, I'm sorry, Rick. You're like Sandy, I can barely hear out of there. <laughs> <laughs> second by Rick. All in favor of approving, of approving Lucas Shane Holtz's resignation as the RHS cheer coach, please signify by raising your right hand. Motion carries 6 to 0. Uh, superintendent's business. Just a reminder, the closure of school on Friday, that starts our spring break, and then we'll be off for the next two weeks. There are intercession events going on. There are enrichment activities at the building level. Principals are getting out to parents in regards to opportunities during that two-week period. I want to thank the community for the support of the bond sales. We had a really good conversation as an administrative team today regarding uh, the bond projects and what's coming forward, as well as building a three and five year capital projects, um, uh, detailed um, listing of things that we know that we need to do and what we're gonna be able to absorb through bonds, what we're going to have to budget for internally. So I wanna thank the team. I know we spent about 40 or 45 minutes on that this morning and that's a lot of time out of your schedule, but it's meaningful to Val and I to be able to do that. Um, the district this week is supporting CASA by wearing jeans and donating that money to CASA. Um, a lot of our kids here are supported by CASA, and I know that there is a shortage of CASA representatives. So we're trying to get that awareness out while at the same time trying to raise money for a more than worthy cause and what they do for our students here within the district. And since you mentioned that, Jana, I know of at least one CASA who is an employee, and um, her building principal does a great job of letting her out and supporting that court time when needed, and I appreciate it. And I believe that's all I have. Is there any public comment? It's date night, Tim. Someone might be talking. <laughs> oh, it's for dinner. <laughs> she might be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to see they're having date night. Right. <laughs> Is there any further business to discuss? For our enrichment, uh, my partner, Greg Crush, over there, and I are doing uh, <laughs> a uh, Potawatomi Zoo. Uh, enrichment thing and you guys are all welcome to come to that it's on uh, Wednesday the second week of spring break at, at noon um, and it'll be over at Riddle Potawatomi Zoo will bring out animals uh, like they always do they always bring out different animals um, it's a good time it's a good opportunity for the kids to get close to uh, to the animals and ask questions and, and it be in a kind of an informal setting uh, and it's a lot of fun so um, feel free to, to attend that if anybody would like to uh, noon that Wednesday and for the single on RCT, RTC4, if you want to do those enrichment things, you get your kids intercession, the buildings are open, and it's a great time to take advantage of those. So contact your building principal, I believe. Or mm -hmm, absolutely. And I didn't want to cut short the public comment. Is there any further public comment? There's not a lot of people here, but I want to give you the opportunity to speak if you'd like. Is there any further business to discuss? In that case, we'll consider the meeting adjourned. Thank you.